You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good free flag Friday to you, fine sir. Give it a flag away. Give it a flag away. <laughs> We need to write a little theme song for that giveaway. Oh, hey, we should. Or I could just keep, <laughs> I could just keep rolling over here. Give uh, it flag away. <laughs> Free flag Friday. I like it. Uh, John and Heidi, how are you two little rascals doing? I'm good. You, good. you little love bugs, you? Yeah. I am fabulous. You, you really do. I think, you know, yeah. we're literally just days away from spring. We, oh, I hope so. <laughs> We'll well, I don't out. think so. What? We'll find no. out on Groundhog Day, won't no, we? I will help. I want to put a couple's retreat together mm. where, where you two are in charge. <laughs> uh, we could retreat a lot of couples. <laughs> I think that would just make for some darn fine radio. Oh, yeah. oh yes, it <clears throat> would. It yeah. is. Uh, she wanted to murder me yesterday, Dan. Oh, John, I've been around you guys like a lot. She wants to murder you more than just Austin. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a common yeah. thing. It's just a thing. It's a thing we it's a phase we go through four or five times a day. But in her defense, <laughs> normally I do pretty much see you bringing it on yourself. Oh yeah. This is true. I signed up to shuttle a bunch of comedians around for Snow Jam Comedy Festival this weekend. So <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I never know how to take this. Because I've never thought of myself in those terms. But this is National Disc Jockey Day. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Disc Jockey Day. Yeah. I remember getting a call one time. Uh, <clears throat> we moved from one location to another, and uh, we had a camera crew. They didn't call me ahead of time, didn't line it up. So they're banging on our door when we used to be at 8th and Railroad Center trying to get in to record with us for that day. Wouldn't you line that up in advance? You sure would think so, No, they so? just yeah. show up that morning at 4.30 in the morning. and That's, that's bad form, man. Texting me. They're like, hey, where are you guys? I'm like, home sleeping? What are you talking about? And this about? is for Disc Jockey Day. Yeah, they wanted yeah. to come that morning and surprise us on the air at 4.30. I'm still sleeping, dude. Wow. So I'm like, okay, well, were let's those, plan ahead next time. Were those local <laughs> TV people? They were indeed. Well, see, they drink. They're nice folks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure they were still probably up from being at the bar the night before. Probably, so. yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you uh, spot uh, your favorite DJ, mm-hmm. number one, you'll be disappointed the first time you meet him. <laughs> and every time after that. Yeah, and number two, don't borrow a money. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Who's celebrating birthdays today? So glad you asked. This guy, holy cow, what a life. Uh, Edwin Aldrin, we call him Buzz. Oh, yeah. Astronaut. Yeah? You know, he, he didn't get a whole lot of press because Armstrong was... was Feet first on the moon, but yeah. Buzz was right there. Yeah. First two human beings to ever yeah, land. Yeah, he doesn't ever get any, uh, doesn't no, he get does. much credit. In fact, he took three moonwalks. He took the very last one, oh, um, yeah. as a matter of fact. He was a fighter pilot, Korean War, and uh, probably the most dangerous thing he ever did, though, when you think about it, he'd been married three times. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Buzz lives quiet life now. He's still alive. He's 93 years old. So. Think about this. Nice. Yeah. When they did Toy Story and they came up with a name for the character, yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Exactly. It wasn't Neil Lightyear. No. It was Buzz. See, exactly. He was He was honored. I like that. And I think one of the greatest characters ever developed for television, uh, Dwight Schrute from The Office, Love him. Rain Wilson. Yeah, yeah I is, love that uh, character. 57 today. Every once in a while. He's a fascinating guy. I'll see him in a movie, and I'm like, oh, it's hard to see him as somebody other than well, Dwight. Well, sure is, yeah. But, <clears> but <throat> he still does a great job in the movies, too. Good actor. Like, Man, he just did such a good job as Dwight. And front man for the world's worst rock and roll band, Kiss. Hmm. Guitarist <laughs> and singer. The world's worst rock and roll band. Stanley Burt Eisen. We call him Paul Stanley. Is uh, 71 today. Nice. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. He's had a whole bunch of hits, including, of course, Beth, Detroit Rock City, Rock and Roll Night, Love Gun. <laughs> and, uh, but one, one of my personal favorites, and Here actually go. written by Paul Stanley. Here we go. 1976 classic, Shout It Out Loud. Oh, yeah. Shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. I hear it getting louder. Shout it, shout it, shout it out loud, and everybody shout it now, shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. <laughs> nice. When he was in Sioux Falls at the Denny Sanford Premier Center, uh, he was like talking between the songs, 
And he sounded like Adam Sandler doing a character. He did. He's His like, what's voice happening? Is so falls? squeaky and, but and the way weird. he was doing it, Heidi was laughing. She's like, does that sound like Adam Sandler? And then I couldn't not hear that. Yeah. I'm like, now I can't. Uh, you just ruined this whole concert for me. <laughs> hey, Sioux Falls, you guys having fun, Sioux Falls? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what the heck just happened? It's it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. Mid-90s. Yeah. Me and my partner my my brother dan christopherson yeah actually spent money to, we got talked into spending money yeah to go to kiss yeah we never paid for a concert in our lives yeah. now we're going to spend money to see kiss who we really didn't like <laughs> <clears throat> if only ever walked out on two concerts in my life that was, that was one, one of them, them. Mm. we were gone by song number seven. Oh wow just couldn't deal with it we yeah. just couldn't there you go huh. what uh what is going on here historically some very big stuff and these two actually uh, pretty much come nose to nose. It was 1981. Ronald Reagan inaugurated as the 40th president mm, of the United States. I miss him. Yeah. This day. Also on this day in 1981, U.S. diplomats and U.S. citizens held hostage at the U.S. embassy in Tehran yeah. <clears throat> are released yeah. and sent on their way yeah. home after being held captive for 444 days. Yeah. What's the connection? <laughs> a little yeah. bit of strength. They, they kind of knew that, hey, we better, uh, we better do this sn- now. They snagged our people under Jimmy Carter, yep. who couldn't quite figure much of anything out, although he is a very lovely man. Nice man. Yeah. And as soon as Reagan got sworn in, the people are going, okay, see, this guy will kill us. Yeah, this us. guy means yeah. business. Yeah, this, we, better, we better let him I go. I remember watching all that unfold going, wow. Yeah. Wow, holy cow. And finally, in 1943, this hits close to home, 1943 this day, temperature hits 52 degrees in Leeds, South Dakota. Oh, wow. So what? Oh. Right? So what? Okay. It's just 52 degrees in Leeds, South Dakota. What's the big deal? Meanwhile, about a mile and a half down the road in Deadwood, South Dakota, temp at the exact same time registers at minus 16. Holy cow, that's, that's, that's crazy. It's a little bit nuts. Yup. And those it's Deadwood Lee. That's like they're like they're next to right each other. Right next door to each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just a stone's throw. Wow. So, that yeah. is crazy. Lee's so sitting at 52. Left their door open. Yeah, Deadwood sitting at minus 16. Not a single person screamed climate change. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, only because Al Gore wouldn't be born until 5 years later. Right. Yeah, that's that's so. I wonder if somebody's <laughs> thermometer was broken. You think? Uh, I'm pretty sure they checked and double checked and triple checked. I would assume. Because <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Uh, pretty crazy. That is crazy. So there you go. I know. You know we all know. We just bounce forward. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Excited to visit with another very funny comic from from the Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Going to be performing tonight, Miss Shannon. Miss Shannon, how you doing? I am outstanding. Um, just so you know, they were harassing me because even though I'm in the Twin Cities, I hit my buddy up, Dan, and I was honored when he asked me to be one of the headliners. Yeah. And I'm like, what's the closest airport? And he said, well, Sioux Falls, but it's a four-hour drive. I said, I know that. <laughs> but I also know what it's like to live in the Midwest. I'm not driving. And I don't so I'm, I am much happier that I got to fly into the lovely airport on yeah. Thursday evening and then come and hang out with everybody tonight. This is much better. It's so. going to be so much fun. I'm excited for your show. Again, her Thank show you. is is part of, and it's one of the comics you get to see this week with Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Started yesterday, uh, kind of getting everything rolling here, and we're excited to have you. And I'm on your website. It says comedian, Thank speaker, you. voiceover artist, auctioneer, social yes. instigator. The, the one I'm like, auctioneer? <laughs> so what kind of auctions do you do? I do benefit auctions, which is another reason why I was happy that they uh, asked me to do Snow Jam, because I really appreciate all of the organizations that they partner with. So you get to come out and get some great laughs. You also get to support some great organizations. And that's why I'm an auctioneer, is that I also like supporting a lot of organizations and nonprofits to do really good work. And I think there's a way that you can um, 
really help maximize their outreach and their fundraising, but still make sure that everybody in the room has a good time. And that's what I get to do. So I'm not doing cattle, John. I'm not, I'm not out there. So <laughs> anybody, if you were waiting to get rid of some cattle or any like farm equipment uh, or whatever else you do there in Sioux Falls, please do not bring them to the show. I am not going to help you with the appraisal of your livestock. Um, but but I can help you if you have some great uh, experiential opportunity that you want to donate to one of these causes and you want to make some money. I'll help you do that. So, very, very cool. Now, yeah. how, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Now, you know you don't ask the lady that. Right? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? You're married? You're married, John. You yeah. know better. So you've been um, long you count, enough. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, honestly, if you count um, all of the time back when I was in college, I've been doing this for like 20 years. Um. And so I'm very fortunate that I've got to evolve uh, my act and what I talk about and the way I connect to the audience over the years. And, you know, I feel like I really get the opportunity to be my most me now and still do it in a way that I think really resonates with people. And I've always processed things through humor. Uh, I think I get to um, that was funny sooner than a lot of people. Uh, and uh, I hope that that helps people like just get a little hey, this looked like it might have been kind of like a sad moment, but there's ways we can turn it around and use it to go, hey, look what we get to deal with, and and this is why this part of the thing is funny, and that's where I kind of come from with my act and and when I'm writing. Nice. Now, you've had a chance to do some really fun things as well, like as seen on Nick's Mom's Night Out and Laughs on Fox. So uh, Mm -hmm. tell me, uh, those those fun opportunities, uh, how did that stuff come about? Because that looks like a lot of fun. You know, I was really happy when I got that because when I first started doing comedy, I was also uh, on a hip hop station at the time. So they kind of encouraged me to be a lot more, we'll just say BET comic view than I organically am. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, by the time I, I got to Nick's mom, I mean, I've, I've always had that, I call it kind of PG-13 kind of viewpoint, but I do get to resonate with women and storytelling. And, and so having those opportunities came up at the right time and I was in the right place and had a great time. You know, I got to record my last set in my hometown of Phoenix, Arizona. So reconnect with some people that I went to high school with in that community. Um, I got to go to Chicago and do Nick moms and, and, you know, really just have a curated audience of the kind of people that I think really enjoy what I do. So it was a, it was a great experience. It was really fun. Cause Hey man, I do TV. TV can be very nerve wracking, oh, but yeah. being able to, to do it that way and go, I was invited to do this because they appreciate what I do and that I connect well with people. I, I'm not going to complain about that. That's a cool gig if you can get it, John. It's Absolutely. A cool gig. Well, yeah. and tonight you're going to be in Sioux Falls, 830 tonight at Spellbound Magic Shop and Theater. We're really excited for this show. If it's not sold out already, it's going to be. If you don't have tickets, get them right away because, again, this show will absolutely sell out. You can find and the tickets... Any- if any of the magicians that also perform that would like to come by, I do have room right now in my cadre for a personal wizard. So Ooh. if somebody would be happy to come by and show me some Gandalfy style magic, I'm in. <laughs> I love I'm that. In, John. Yeah. Very nice. Again, Miss Shannon is our guest. You can see her tonight in Sioux Falls, snowjamcomedyfest.com. Miss Shannon, I look forward to chatting with you. Absolutely. Come on down. We're going to have a great time. Again, Miss Shannon, tonight at Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Get your tickets. Get all the details at snowjamcomedyfest.com. There's no W on that. It's just S-N-O, snowjamcomedyfest.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Free Flag Friday? I always find a nice flag kind of interesting. I do too. What, what are you looking at? I'm pointing over here? And yeah. Really? I'm just, I'm just pointing. I see, <laughs> I see what you're pointing at. It's weird for those of you who can't tune this in on your screen. Yeah, right behind me. I have a flag. Behind Heidi, there's a flag. We're kind of flagged we're up. We're having here. a moment of weirdness because it's 
it's all visual. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Saying things like over there while you're mm. listening. And really can't mm. thank enough uh, Mark, Mark Nelson and his team at Maximum Great Promotions mm. for, uh, for coming along with us on, on this because I just think it's fantastic. It's a three foot by five foot flag, the pole, the hardware, everything you need to get it's your flag right flying on. Yep, yep. Congratulations to uh, Snow Rosales. Nice. What a pretty name. Yeah, Wonderful they're people. nice people. Snow Rosales. We know her and her hubby. They're great Different. people. Yeah, okay. Huh, interesting. Got to be Irish. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we'll get that certificate in the mail to there you, we Snow. Go. Thank you for listening, and thanks for uh, registering and being uh, being a part of that. Uh, you're, if you're familiar, have you heard any news on the southern border the last couple of years? There's no, I've couple, heard nothing. Uh, okay. Must be, a must be stories, but running yeah. pretty smoothly. Well, apparently a couple of folks are kind of coming over and they maybe shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen it in a few uh, alternate news places. Uh, lots of uh, narcotics. Hmm. Tons and tons of so narcotics. So there's pharmacists that are coming over? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they're Un- pharmacists. Unlicensed. Uh, human traffickers. Just, there's just apparently some, some bad stuff going on. Mm, that's not good. Not good this though. is interesting. Oh, what happened? Border Patrol, in the past little while, and this has gone up, has seized illegal, this illegal item. It's gone up 108% oh. in the past six months. Border Patrol going, uh-uh, we're taking that. What is it? Eggs. Oh, no kidding. Oh, funny. Isn't that something? The smuggling eggs across the southern border. You can get, out of Juarez, Mexico, a 30-count carton of fresh eggs for three dollars and forty cents wow i know huh i just saw it i forget what city it was but right here in good old united states america a dozen eggs was uh, seven bucks huh a dozen you can get a 30 count be listening for, for, for about the details on our dozen a day giveaway. 350 <laughs> u.s customs uh, border protection reports 108 percent increase in seized egg products and poultry oh wow isn't that something Huh. How sad is the yeah. state of our country when they're smug when eggs are more valuable than drugs and that's what they're smuggling over and the border? And they're not border. keeping the drugs; they're keeping the eggs. I was, I was in one of the high vs maybe a week ago or so, and there were literally there was like a crowd had formed huh. uh, the dairy case, taking pictures because there were no eggs. I oh. mean, there no none hmm. zero. So average oh. cost for a dozen. Large eggs, United States of America right now is anywhere from eh, 350 to 530, mm. approximately, roughly. That's insane. So, yeah, people, they've been trying to oh. smuggle them across the border. Do you remember, Which, Dana? Don't you wish that was our only problem? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I wish that was the only yeah. thing. Yeah, you got an illegal, bad everywhere. You got an illegal chicken there. <laughs> Do you remember a couple of years ago, Dan, when you read a story about people being able to have chickens, and I said, hey, we should have some chickens, and Heidi told me, no, no chicken for you. <laughs> a lot more people now. I know, but I was going to raise my own chickens. going to have my own. I'd, I'd probably yeah. have by now. We'd be able to retire. Cases of gold covered <laughs> eggs all over the place. Well, it ain't free to raise them either. Well, I mean, you know, you feed them chicken feed. What could that cost? Yeah, because in feed. the city limits of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I want to say you can have a dozen laying hens. I was thinking it was less than, I think it was. No, like, no, half a dozen, like six. Yeah, I think. Like six, yeah. Thanks, whatever. You might want to check the rules before you just load up on them. Well, in no. Biden's America, you can't afford the chicken feed either. Or would so. you just stop? Or probably anything else. Oh, so. my goodness. And the licensing through the city. And then I don't know if they eat leftover pizza. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what chickens eat either. Chickens just kind of freak me out, quite frankly. Yeah, a little bit. Always have. They're little, little dinosaurs. So yeah, don't don't uh, bring them over. It's a, it's the against the, it's against the law. That's oh, insane. Yep, fresh well, eggs or poultry. You. you cannot. Thank you for that, Dan. Yeah, I found that interesting, Heidi. I also found that interesting. That's quite interesting. Two well, out of two, Dan. Welcome to the world, man. Jeez. That's all there is to it. Hey, yeah. you two. What? This is fun. Hey, have a prosperous, blessed weekend. Mm-hmm. I'll catch up with you guys on Monday. Gonna do that. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we 
probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Friday, January 20th, 2023. The sell-off in equities deepened Thursday, helping to confirm a top in the index, but all is not lost. The S&P 500 is still showing support at the short-term 30-day moving average, where it may be able to stage a comeback. The catalyst that could do it is earnings and economic data due out next week. The Q4 earnings reporting season hits high gear next week and brings reports from Microsoft, Verizon, Johnson & Johnson, all bellwethers for their respective industries. The economic calendar is also full next week, but the only report that matters comes out Friday. That's the PCE price index. That should confirm a peak in inflation and may fall more than expected. The risk for the market is that inflation may subside and not brighten the outlook for 2023 and cap any gains that may form. The takeaway is the consensus figures for forward S&P 500 figures are more important than ever. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.